Okay, let's finish off part two with an application problem. And this one I chose because it has percents. So now that we uh, are doing this, we understand that if I have, say I have 35% of whatever object and uh, some number, I want this 35% of this number. This means multiply this portion of, 35 is a portion of. I would change it to a decimal and I would have 0.35 of means times that 1600. And then I could solve it. Now, I don't know if this is gonna come out well, but we'll find out. And get my calculator out. There it is. So I am going to put, I'm going to do a two here and quit. I'm going to clear that. All right. I'm going to put the decimal three, five times that 1600. And I'm going to get 560 is that portion of, that portion of. So now that you have an idea of what I need, let's get started with this last problem. According to the state law, the maximum amount a jury awards uh, that attorneys can receive is given below. So this is the money from the awarding of, a, of an outcome from a suit is 40% of the first 1400 So they want 40% of the first 1400 $140,000. They get that portion of it. Then on the next portion, 33 and 3 tenths percent of uh, the next $140,000. Next means that whole amount there. And then 30% of the next 190. And then they have 24% of anything over. Over. $470,000. All right. Well, let's look at that. So I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to add the $140,000 twice. I'm going to multiply by two because that's the first one plus uh, $190,000. And we should get. 470,000. So that's why they say anything over this amount because those those three average to that. So uh, let X represent the maximum amount of money that an attorney in the state can receive for a jury award of size X. Find each of the following. Describe in a sentence what the answer tells you. All right. So we're going to do the A. F of $210,000. All right. So what do we have here? All right. So let's look at the money part first. 210, 1, 2, 3, and we're going to subtract the $140,000 to see what's left. Oops, sorry. I don't know what I was thinking on that. Let's 
70,000. All right, so I have the 70,000 that is left over from the 210. So we've got one group of 140,000 and then 70,000 for the next group. Now, they didn't ask us to write the function, but we can write a function for that. So we would say the function of 210,000 equals. All right, so I'm going to write it over here. That's going to be the the th the point four zero times the one hundred forty thousand plus the point three 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 times that seventy thousand. All right. So now I'm going to get my calculator. Math. So the attorneys will get it's up here. Okay, we'll get $79,310 for their services uh, in getting uh, that, that award. So what does it tell us? It tells us several things. It says, now we write the sentence. For the award of $210,000. All right. Uh, so the attorneys will get $79,310 as part of their earnings at, for the award of $210,000 uh, to, uh, to whoever uh, they were uh, representing. So let's look at B. F of $320,000. All right. So on this one, so we start at $320,000. We subtract the $140,000. This is our first payoff. Yes, minus the 140, and I get 180,000. I'm going to subtract the next 140,000 because they're both 140, and I'm going to get 40,000. Okay, so this is at 40%. This is at 33 and 3 tenths percent, and the remainder is at 30 percent. Okay, so now we have the function. Us, the point uh, 333 times the 140 
plus the point 30 times what's left, the 40,000. All right, so this is our function. And I'll get my calculator. Now that one's going to be the 0.333 times the 140 plus, and then we have the 0.30 times uh, 40,000. Make sure I have all my numbers right. 40, yeah, okay, I'm going to say I have it right. Uh, and I'm going to get. 114,620. So one way of writing that sentence is, I, and I, I'm not sure the order, you just follow whatever the computer says and you drop the numbers accordingly. So the attorneys earned $114,620 for an award to client of $320,000. All right, something to that effect. Now we have the, uh, the next one, uh, F of 550. All right, so we're going to square away what we have. So we're going to have the five, five, zero, one, two, three. I'm going to subtract the 140. So that's the first one at 40%. Now I'm going to subtract the 140. And this is at 33 and 3 tenths percent. And I'm going to subtract. Uh, now on this one, the first one I've done, that is at the 190. because we need the 190 at the 30%. And then whatever's left over is at 24%. All right, so now we can write our function. award more than half a million. I think the last one was 80,000. And we'll use our calculator to verify I have the numbers correct. Uh, 140 times the 2 plus 190 
plus 80. And I should get 550. Good. All right. I didn't put the last three zeros. So now I'm going to do the math on it. So I'm going to have the, oops, 0 0.40 times 140123 plus 0 0.333 times 140123 plus 0 0.30 times one nine zero one two three plus point two four times that last remainder eighty one two three and I get one hundred seventy eight thousand eight hundred twenty dollars is what the attorneys will get. Uh, on uh, the award given of uh, $550,000. All right, guys, now you are armed and dangerous. Do your homework. Uh, there's, I think, only about eight problems, but it's important. Now, this one has a graphing component, uh, and it'll be easy because you're going to select the one that has the ordered pairs. So in the ordered pairs, this is all you have to do is you're going to say for the award of $320,000, the attorneys earn uh, $114,000 and $620,000. And that was one of the ordered pairs. Uh, that was our one of them. Our big one was the 550, and it'll be on the graph so you can look. Uh, we're going to award one hundred seventy eight thousand eight hundred twenty dollars and our a was uh two ten two hundred ten thousand dollars and uh the attorneys will get seventy nine three ten right let me look again seventy nine three ten So uh, these are the values we got. We have. I think I did all of them. Yes. Uh, and you look for these on the graph given, and uh, you'll be fine. Thank you so much for listening. Now do the homework.